Hello and welcome to this Power BI tutorial with me, James from Matador Software. Today, we're looking at creating high quality animated backgrounds for our Power BI reports using royalty free MP4 video and GIFs. Now, what we look to be left with is something like this, uh, a landing page that looks like a website, a well-polished website, and sort of functions like one as well. Now, there's a lot of reasons to do this. Number one, it's a universal approach and it'll increase buy-in. So I'm gonna show you the tools I use for the animated background, and then at the end, we'll sort of circle around into how we would add these additional features and some things you may want to use to make your, your backgrounds more sort of interchangeable with the rest of your Power BI report. So the first tool I use is actually to get high quality MP4 video that's royalty free. So there's no risk of copyright. There's no cost and um, it's open source and it's called Pixabay. So you can go to pixabay.com forward slash videos and you can see I get all these options of 4K video. Now we are going to convert this to a GIF. Um, so some of the, you know, the quality will be lost, but there's other ways around this that we're going to look at. So I just typed in skyscraper, you know, standard maybe uh, business style report and we can use this. And as you can see, it's stunning drone footage, most likely. Um, looks great and we can actually just go ahead and download this so we can click free download and you want to be mindful that you want 1920 by 1080 for the best resolution for your power bi dashboards so we'll download that now once that's on our system we can go to easygif ezgif.com and we can choose a file so that'll just be whatever you saved your output from our pixabay download and we can just upload that video. And we're in the video to GIF converter function. So you'll see it retains the width and height that we specified. We'll keep the size up to 600 PX, and then we'll just give it the highest frame rate possible, which gives us a maximum of 10 seconds playtime in it. Now it's gonna repeat, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so I'll just take the, the end time down to nine seconds, because it was originally 17 seconds long. And we can click convert to GIF, um, it will give you an output and then we can just go ahead and save this within our system. Again, <clears throat> save it wherever you like, call it whatever you like, and we'll go on to the next stage where we can actually bring this into Power BI and start to connect everything together for a really uh, web app sort of looking um, landing page. Now we're in Power BI Desktop. How do we actually successfully get this GIF in. You'll see my page is slightly zoomed in um, just so that everything's a bit easier to see. So in canvas background, when you just click on the canvas, we need to select the image that we previously chose. And that doesn't matter if it's a GIF. So you can see I can import it in and I get the choice of an image fit. So you can choose fit or fill, whatever your preference is, but you need to take the transparency down naturally to show the, the GIF that we're going to play in the background. Now, there's a couple of potential issues here. Maybe we want to apply a bit of transparency because it would be troublesome to display elements on top of this quite light background and it might get a bit full on. So what I can do here, I'm gonna put the transparency up to 25 and it actually has a double function because it sort of gives it a more crisp um, dawn feature there. Um, so that should be okay. And now what we can do just to make it a bit darker, we can overlay a rectangle on top um, change the color to black and then we can apply transparency again and what this does it just gives us an extra layer and it makes our elements much easier to incorporate into our dashboard so something like 75 percent transparency here would be really worthwhile and you can see i can move the rectangle you can maybe place it on certain portions of the screen if you want but i'm going to maintain it across the whole screen there Then we can take our animated background, our GIF, and our transparency tricks and piece together something like this. It's got a very um, web app-like interface. If we go into view and the selection pane, we can see exactly what components we have here, but there's nothing complex. We've built up those two layers of transparency. Now we have buttons with padding edited so that we have hover effects. We've just edited the bottom padding to be higher. Um, and again, more buttons with hover effects so that we clearly give users um, indication of what's happening when they look through our, our dashboard when it's actually in the service. 
simple explainer, we've got shapes, and again, we're using those shape layering tricks to make our text nice and clear. Everything looks crisp and professional. So hope you enjoyed insight into these tools, and as usual, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you.